Here's to Gahol, welcome here in Bucharest. How are you? Um, fine. fine. Actually, after the last year December tour, you are back uh, with a new tour in Eastern Europe with a few shows. Uh, so tonight is actually the last show. Uh, yesterday you had in Timisoara. So how was the tour so far? Uh, the shows have been good. Um, but a uh, long, long travel and uh, difficult weather for the for the driving conditions. But uh, but uh, I'm very pleased myself. And how was the audience of the last night in Timisoara? Uh, really, really, good, really good. Uh, everything uh, was went well. There, everything, catering and uh, <coughs> everything that the audience doesn't see functioned really well. And um, uh, yeah, good, good, uh, good local promoter. Uh, I think we just got to know last week basically that we were supposed to play there. So, so uh, good turnout and. Um, uh, very good audience. Yeah. yeah, I bet tonight will be the same. <laughs> A great I, audience. Uh, I hope so. That's. Uh, yeah. You've actually formed Gahel's Weird months uh, later after the last Gut Seed show in, back in 2015. So, what determined you to form a new project? Uh, well, we had. Um, we had already quit. Uh, Godseed were already uh, finished, but we had a couple of shows that we uh, that we uh, had signed contracts to do uh, yeah. during the summer festivals. So, uh, so I uh, I had already planned uh, planned the creation of this band, not the name, but uh, but uh, a new formation with with. Uh, some of the members that are with us today. Yeah. <laughs> so. Yeah, but there is not an album yet. When is it? When it will be out? Very soon. Yes. So uh, we were we were originally we were supposed to be in studio in September of the yeah. last year. So, uh, but due to different um, logistics. Uh, we uh, we had to delay it, and then of course we had the tour, and now uh, when we go back home to yeah. Norway, we uh, go into studio. Yeah. So it will be it will be recorded now during the next two months. Um, so it depends a bit on um, on uh, how we decide to do it. I don't want to work with any labels at this moment, so... Uh, yeah, you want we, to go independent. Yeah, we do uh, do everything ourselves. So the only only release is, of course, this is a live, live release from our first... Uh, yeah. from our first show. So um, also the first time uh, five of the tracks have been played live ever. Yeah, but so. you are actually playing on this live set songs from your old band Treldom, if I'm yes. not wrong. And do we expect soon a new Treldom album as well? Yeah, me and uh, me and Sir is uh, we have a lot we have a lot ready, but we uh, I'm I'm never in a hurry to uh, release it. It's uh, yeah. uh, because I need to be in the right state of uh, of uh, mind and also with uh, the correct surroundings. To uh, but I am. I have a couple of other projects that I, I think I will uh, like. Something I've done with Skog that we've been uh, uh, waiting to do since 1996. We, uh, I guess that's. I guess we will try to record uh, the first Sigfada album. The music is ready, so it's uh, it's just for us to basically record it. It's been it's been ready for. Yeah, it's uh, 22 years now. So, yeah. <laughs> so it's on. Uh, it's time that we uh, that we uh, execute it in the sense of uh, 
we're getting old and forgetful, so we, we need to do it while we still remember it. <laughs> yeah. So actually, when you left Gorgorod, you wanted to continue the band, but you renamed it to Godseed, and you uh, were on board to say like this with uh, Tom, also known as, as uh, King of Hell. But today you are not with him anymore. What are the reasons? Nah, we, uh, uh, but um, I don't know, did I hear also that Sir uh, will quit Gunhouse Weird, will be his last tour? Uh, yeah, he, he's not with us now. Kampo okay. uh, has, uh, has, has a year uh, off at least, uh, so they won't do anything this year. Uh, so we, since we live in the surroundings, yeah. we, 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 we kind of got him in on, yeah. on uh, uh, so this is his first uh, tour with uh, yeah. Or trial period for, uh, yeah. but it's still just a session. So we will see what happens in yeah. in the future. It's um, uh, but he's he's uh, done a good figure so far. So. Yeah. But any specific reasons, sir, doesn't want to be in the band anymore? Uh, he's just tired of the touring, and uh, so he, me and him, still work in Tallinn, of course, but. Uh, but he's just uh, tired of uh, traveling. Uh, yeah, different life priorities. So, yeah. so it's uh, that's how people are. They change emotions, and uh, I hope he returns uh, one day. But uh, we will see. I've I've worked with him for many many years now, so it's yeah. strange <laughs> not to have him. <laughs> well, I hope he won't quit. He, the other band he's in, Telox Project, Nidingra. Uh, Nidingra, you know, I, I think that they uh, hardly play live, so... Uh, yeah, I know, but still maybe so, he won't... Uh, yeah, I think, he, I think he's still still operating there. And it's also easier for him because he lives in Oslo and Nidingra yeah. is in Oslo, so it's... Yeah. It's, he has to tra travel uh, eight hours by train to uh, get to our rehearsals, so... <laughs> yeah. Well, for you to be still on stage, do you prefer big festivals or the small venues? I prefer the smaller venues because they have better communication with the audience. Um, Sound-wise, it, uh, it, it can be preferable to be on a big stage because you mm. usually have better equipment and, uh, on the venues that you arrive at, but, uh, but, uh, but definitely for me, the more intimate uh, venues are, it, I think it suits uh, the energy of black metal more than, than yeah, the probably. Yeah. yeah. Um, tell me a bit also about your collaboration with Einar and Wardruna. Yes, uh, I've worked with him quite a lot, so uh, yeah, I don't know how to, uh, <laughs> how to, how to answer that question, of course, we, uh, yeah. You have been since the beginning yeah, yeah, yeah. in the project, so. Yeah, it's, uh, but still, it's, um, <laughs> yeah, we, we, uh, we decided to, uh, or the idea of what, you know, we created back in uh, 2001. Uh, he was the drummer in uh, Gogrot uh, at that time. So, so um, yeah, we uh, yeah basically because we shared kind of the same uh, uh, yeah we are focused on this uh, pagan or Norse uh, realm. So yeah, so the, it seemed logical to to create something around that topic, but um, yeah, 
but that's how Baldona was created basically but I it's difficult to put any specifics in into the creation of it and or the way we work together because it's uh, it's a lot of details yeah. <laughs> so. yeah. how do you see the black metal scene today compared with the past when you were in Gorgorod when you founded also Treldom oh um, um, I don't know anything about the black metal scene today uh, <laughs> I uh, I don't follow the music of other bands in, uh, so I actually don't know much about what is currently the black metal scene I only yeah. present my own realm but uh, um, and I don't need to put a name on it it's uh, yeah. but it's it's probably very different than uh, um, the stern tests that uh, uh, the youthful once created back in the 90s so. yeah it is indeed different I would say <laughs> than yeah, it's, in the uh, past and yeah it's um, it, it broke broke uh, broke free a lot of uh, it was a very narrow minded society back uh, back then and I think black metal uh, helped loosen quite a lot of uh, of these impressions, uh, even though it was, uh, yeah, it was it was a necessity. But it's uh, of course derived from uh, youthful uh, youthful uh, rebellion, uh, which always happens. Uh, it's. Uh, the youth, the youth is always the ones that drive with the spear through yeah. the walls. And, uh, so it's. Uh, but one uh, one can't stay in stay this uh, one can't stay in the same position always. Stagnation is yeah. not something that I will proceed. <laughs> yeah. Well. I can say you are a black metal icon because everyone knows you being with Gorgoroth and when uh, fans found out about your homosexuality there were comments, funny comments, bad comments so, but in my opinion the sexual orientation doesn't matter so when you saw Ruth I don't pay attention to empty barrels. Yeah. <laughs> it's uh, yeah. I don't uh, I, I don't I don't follow uh, what people write or say or it's yeah. it, it's uh, yeah. Why should I waste time on concerning myself what meaningless people think? Yeah. I said, yeah. this really doesn't matter, <laughs> but nowadays are those people who used to criticize a lot on internet, in the metal world a lot, and there are many opinions, good and bad, ups and downs, it, it's a chaos, if you spend time on internet and see the attacks, it's chaos. Wait, we can say, uh, say it like this, uh, uh, empty bottle. So, but it's there's there's never been any problems with this, and uh, I've I've never noticed anything around when I travel. Or so it's it's usually just people screaming on a distance, in the sense of uh, that they're not doing it to one's face. They're always doing it hidden behind a computer screen, or so it's. Uh, it's 
it's like uh, it's like uh, dirt on the table. It's just to wipe it up clean. Exactly. It's uh, nothing more than that. Yeah. <laughs> Writing music and focus on the actual project Gahos Weird. What other activities do you have in your free time? I saw you. Uh, like to paint, you had some exhibitions as well. Um, everything I do is my free time in a way. Mm -hmm. I'm lucky that way. But um, um, I do it equally. To, I don't. I don't consider anything more important than the other. And, uh, I just. Uh, I'm luck lucky enough to just do what falls into my path. Yeah. So uh, even though I don't, uh, I, there's a lot of things I do that I don't present to the world, basically because it doesn't, there's, I never, when I started to create like uh, I didn't ever think of it becoming something that would be presented to, to a public. Uh, and that's how it is with a lot of the things that I do. Like with, uh, for instance, Sigfada, with, uh, with we, uh, we have five albums, but we have, we have only played them uh, yeah. to ourselves on the rehearsal occasion. And it's not like... Uh, the same with the, the paintings, I do them for, first and foremost for myself. Uh, also, also, any other musical elements that I, I do a lot of different things. So uh, the only thing I uh, I did, of course, the theater, uh, with, where I um, uh, which kind of is something that I did to avoid my free time, in uh, yeah. or just my the focus on my own. Creation, so uh, and also the also the film that I participated in. So that's the only things that I've. Uh, that's the only work contract I've ever signed. Yeah. So. Uh, yeah. So I just do uh, whatever falls into. <laughs> <laughs> but I do a lot of uh, a lot of musical projects, um, and been co-working with uh, a couple of uh, artists in the sense of uh, yeah more modern art uh, where I've usually used my voice to uh, help them out in, yeah. in their expression and yeah so do you have more touring plans for this year or planning to tour when the new album will be out? Uh, we uh, have a lot of uh, a lot of things this year. It's, uh, but, but we can't reveal them until they're public. And, uh, it's, but we uh, end until everything is completely settled. But we are... Uh, it will be a very busy year. <laughs> yeah. It's... Uh, it's, uh, yeah, it will basically just be a few uh, openings in, uh, in the summer, but of course there will be a couple of festivals as well. Yeah. But that's, uh, uh, but it will be a hectic year. And, uh, if I'm not on the road, I will be uh, most likely in the studio working on, on different projects. For you to tour a lot, or you got used with it already? I'm uh, with with this uh, with this lineup. It's good. To uh, it's we get along uh, well as uh, individuals. Um, it's been a lot of uh, stress back in the days, and uh, yeah. Uh, uh, a lot of uh, internal wars, uh, uh, so I'm used to extremes, and now it's yeah. more uh, set into 
a more uh, structured um, structured realm so uh, but by all means I it's um, you are constantly around people and that's for me that's not something I even though I'm I think I'm I'm better at handling it now than uh, uh, but still it's uh, it's difficult to t get time uh, away from the self, but it helps to go on stage and perform because that's kind of a, it's kind of a, yeah, like a boxing match. You kind of just get to lose the energy. Yeah. So it's, uh, um, but by all means, it's extremely tiring. <laughs> all I'm looking forward to hear the new album and uh, thank you very much. <laughs>